Right, we talked about, about it while we're starting. The Basketball Africa League is in line and it's coming uh, from the 20th uh, to the 27th of this month of May. Rwanda will host the 2023 Basketball Africa League a playoffs and finals. A partnership uh, has been established between a Visit Rwanda campaign and BAL and joining us uh, to explain about, of course, uh, this partnership and the, the upcoming uh, Basketball Africa League playoffs as well as the finals is uh, M Michaela Rugwizangoga, the chief Tourism Officer at the Rwanda Development Board, RDB. Welcome and thank you for joining us. Thank you. Good evening. Right. Uh, of course, we are all excited uh, to have this uh, BAL uh, other edition of uh, Playoffs and Finals here in Kigali, Rwanda. But in addition to BAL giving, of course, a platform to Rwandan uh, basketball talents, uh, what other exposure does uh, this uh, partnership with Visit Rwanda give the country generally? Thank you. Uh, as you said, we are all very excited uh, to, to start this third edition of the Basketball Africa League uh, in Kigali. Um, the Visit Rwanda um, uh, partnership, the Visit Rwanda Sports Tourism Partnership, uh, are one of the platforms that our country uh, has chosen to reach the hearts and minds of uh, viewers and visitors across the world. Uh, it has helped us position our destination as an international destination of choice. Um, sports, in particular, has, uh, has a unifier effect. Uh, and therefore, we reach uh, really people around the world and they become curious about our, our destination and they come to visit Rwanda. Right. I, I've been talking to uh, different friends and they're, of course, excited to see different uh, people that will come along as we experience uh, the third edition of uh, BAL. But if you can uh, specify with the figures, uh, how many people get to uh, see Rwanda or visit Rwanda in uh, regards to the Basketball Africa League uh, coming to Rwanda again for the third time? Yeah. Um, Thank you. Uh, so uh, we've seen an increase in our in our visitors number over over the years. Uh, uh, most specifically, uh, if you look at the number of tourism revenue uh, for 2022, uh, we've registered 425 million, um, from which, uh, when it comes to mice, uh, 64 million uh, dollars, and seven million in particular for um, sports events, uh, sports related events. Uh, so we really see the, 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 the return on investment when it comes to this, um, to this uh, partnership. Now, uh, for Kigali, we've been um, encouraging people to come to, to Rwanda in May. We've had what we call our road to Kigali. Uh, we were in, uh, in Dakar uh, a few months ago. We went to Cairo, uh, spoke to the press and, uh, and, and uh, many people, and uh, shared the message to be in Kigali uh, in May. Um, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yes, as uh, you mentioned, actually a lot is in Kigali for people to attend, but maybe uh, for someone who might be watching us, let's say from uh, Dakar or Cairo and is planning on coming uh, to Kigali uh, for this uh, third BAL uh, season or uh, finals and playoffs, uh, during these playoffs, uh, what a sort of uh, tourism attractions can uh, basketball lovers uh, and visitors in general look up to as they come to Kigali? And uh, you know, I don't know if I'm asking this for my personal interests, uh, for the entertainment lovers, uh, what yeah. sort of uh, different activities set in entertainment to uh, witness as a BL goes on? Yeah, thanks. So in addition to the, um, to the games, uh, we'll have uh, a series of side events, uh, the Innovation Summit um, that we organize in collaboration with the BAL, uh, different um, pop-ups uh, and, and arts, art events around the city. Our Kigali is a vibrant city. It's a cultural city, so we encourage our visitors to go to our different museums, to uh, get to know about the history of the country, uh, where we come from, where we are heading. Um, and of course, uh, every evening will be, will be filled with, with lots of entertainment. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and lastly, um, as, as we receive our visitors, what's your call mm -hmm. to Kigalians? As a, you know? yeah, yeah, maybe to add to what I was just saying, right. uh, we start on Saturday uh, with the opening and we end next Saturday with the finals, but there won't be games every day. So we have what we call off days so that our visitors can really have the time to enjoy our city of Kigali, but also go outside, uh, outside Kigali, visit the Akagera Park, our Volcano National Park, and so on. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, to Kigalians, uh, any call as we conclude this? 
Uh, to Kigalians, what I want to say is that uh, this event is yours. Uh, it's yours to enjoy. It's yours to, to make it uh, vibrant and lively uh, to the Kumwe. Uh, we'll, we look forward to see you at, at the arena uh, starting Saturday. So, you know, uh, enjoy. Enjoy these uh, 10 upcoming days. Thank you very much. We'll definitely be there. Mikaela Rugizangoga, the Chief Tourism Officer, the Rwanda Development Board. Thank you very much for your time on Rwanda Television. Thank you so much. Thanks. It was a pleasure.